and welcome back to Nintendo Prime. What is today? What is it? 11 16 2021. It's a Tuesday. Uh, and yeah, we have a lot of exciting things happening today. Some exciting announcements. Five big news stories to get to. But before we get into any of this, drop a like on this video. That's right. If we, today and today only, can get to 1,000 likes on this video in the first 24 hours you know what screw it before the end of today at 11 59 central time one of you people in the comments will win a hundred dollar nintendo switch eShop gift card so what are you waiting for drop a like beyond that uh we also have a lot of other giveaway items happening uh you see this stuff happening right here you see this you see the switch oled uh you see these zelda game and watches uh this and more are being given away during our prime giving event on the 28th of november there will be a link down in the description or the pinned comment to go set yourself up for that to win by the way you need to be subscribed to the channel it's the only thing i actually require also, if you go subscribe to our podcast channel, you can actually get a bonus entry into the grand prize on that evening, which is this Switch OLED along with a Satisfy Grip and a few other things that we'll be bundling in. Um, other people will be able to win like Zelda Game & Watches, eShop gift cards, a bunch of different games. We're gonna try to give back as much as we can. Oh, and by the way, the grand prize winner of the Switch OLED, they also get $100 donated to a charity of their choice. Of course, we'll have to vet that charity, but still, uh, you, you know, you want to go to Team C's, you want to go to children's hospitals, whatever you decide uh, you want us to send $100 to, that would be fantastic. So um, I'm really excited about that, and we're not done. Tonight, we are going to be playing uh, Super, what is it, not Super Mario, Mario Party Superstars tonight at 8 p.m. Central Time uh, with all of our members and patrons. That's right, we do have a Patreon at patreon.com slash Nintendo Prime. We also have where you can hit that join button. Uh, winners of those matches, I'll be involved in it. So if I win, haha, I get to save some money. Uh, actually, here's what's really going to happen. Winners of those matches uh, will get a prize, be it a $20 eShop gift card, a $50 eShop gift card, a game of choice or something like that. I have no idea how many um, matches of Super Mario Party uh, or Mario Party Superstars we're going to get in. Uh, but here's the thing. If I win, that prize is given away to the chat. That's right. So the chat will be rooting for me so they can win a prize. But the members and stuff like that, if they win, they get that prize. There might be other smaller giveaways as well throughout the stream, such as 10, 15, you know, $5 gift cards and stuff like that. We'll we'll kind of see what happens as the stream goes and what mood I am feeling in. Uh, it's going to be a lovely time. I really hope you're looking forward to all of this stuff as I'm trying my best to give as much back during the holidays as humanly possible. That being said, oh, you know what I forgot to talk about with this? Um, one item that we do have confirmed is we are giving away one of those Pokemon Dalgia, Pokia, whatever. I can't pronounce the thing, Pokemon names. Uh, the Switch Lite, the Pokemon Special Edition Switch Lite for this holiday. Yeah, we're giving away one of those. Big shout out, by the way, to Nintendo Academy, who has donated that light to our giveaway. And it's not part of the grand prize giveaway with the Switch OLED. It'll be a separate one. It'll be one of the big, big ones we give away. But yeah, I'm really excited about that. Go check out Nintendo Academy. In fact, I'll put a link down in the description. And who knows, maybe we'll have him pop on during our stream of Prime Giving and do a little talk with him about uh, why he's being so charitable and helping us out this year. All right, our first story here uh, deals with Nintendo of Europe. Um, now, we usually don't talk about NOE too much because it doesn't impact us a whole lot here in the United States, but we do have a lot of people that watch us out in Europe. And this is something I want to mention because Nintendo of Europe has announced an enormous cyber switch sale that will discount more than 1,000 games, including up to 75% off. Um, we're reading this right off of Nintendo Life here. Uh, we're not going to go over all 1,000 games because uh, we don't have enough room on the camera for that. Uh, but what we will mention are some of the bigger ones that Nintendo has shared a list of. Uh, you can get 33% off Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity, 33% off New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe, 45% off Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 Plus 2, Divinity Original Sin 2 Definitive Edition will get 30% off, Pikmin 3 Deluxe will be 33% off, Tetris Effect Connected 33% off, Crash Bandicoot 4 It's About Time is 40% off, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Complete Edition is 50% off, 
Um, Hotline Miami collections 50% off. Ori and Will of the Wisp is 40% off. Uh, Cities Skylines Nintendo Switch Edition is 75% off. That's really nice there. Uh, Sonic Colors Ultimate is 25% off. Dragon Quest uh, 11 S Echoes of the Elusive Age Definitive Edition is 50% off. Mortal Kombat 11 is 55% off. Shovel Knight Treasure Trove is 30% off. And FIFA 22 is also 30% off. Uh, these sales begin, let's see, November 18th and be running through the end of the month, I believe. So, yeah, take advantage of these digital sales being offered by Nintendo and their partner companies. I'm sure over here in the United States, we're going to have a hefty amount of digital sales as well. Nintendo did say they were going to announce more digital uh, holiday sales in the future here. So we'll update you when Nintendo of America finally gives us an updated list of their digital sales for the holidays, baby! Uh, next up, let's take off the sunglasses. No, folks, I'm not hiding anything here. I don't got bloodshot eyes. There's nothing crazy happening. I just wanted to put me, you know, be cool, you know, because because Chris Pratt is apparently cool and going to be Mario in the new upcoming Mario movie because of how cool he is. Um, speaking of cool, uh, Shigeru Miyamoto has turned 69 years old today. Technically, you could argue part of yesterday uh, it was because Japan's, you know, like 12 hours ahead of us or something like that. But anyways, as of right now in the entire world, Shigeru Miyamoto is 69 years old. Shigeru Miyamoto is obviously one of the godfathers of gaming itself and the guy who most recently mentioned how cool Chris Pratt is. Um, and the thing is, he um, obviously invented Mario, Donkey Kong. Um, you know, Jumpman before he became Mario, uh, Zelda, and many others. He is the godfather of so many IPs. Pikmin is, is one of his babies as well. Um, y you have to respect one of the, you know, truly Mount Rushmore figureheads. Um, and also understand that, I mean, he's getting up there in age, 69 years old. He's busy working on the Mario movie. Uh, he helped out with the Super Mario World. He doesn't do a lot of game development anymore. Pikmin 3 was one of the um, most recent games that I guess he did some work on. Uh, but you know he doesn't do a ton. He helped out with Star Fox Zero as well. I'm back on the Wii U, and um, so so he he has done some game development over the last you know I guess you know eight years. But he doesn't do a ton. He's more of a figurehead. He's involved in all the meetings, um, and he does keep an eye on a lot of IPs and obviously flip tea tables uh, when he needs to do it, which is just his way of uh, flipping the script if game development is not going well. Um, you know, he's like, hey, look, this is not Nintendo quality. Let me let me just flip this thing and go back to the drawing board. Uh, so he still is involved with game development, but he doesn't actively lead game development projects anymore, at least as far as we're aware. Who knows? Maybe he's busy at work on a secret project that we're not aware of. We do know Nintendo did say he was working on the Mario movie, and that has wrapped, so who knows what he's doing now. Um, Shigeru Miyamoto is just a legend, baby. My childhood, my life wouldn't be the same if it wasn't for his thoughtfulness his creativeness and i mean he's 69 years old so i don't know how much longer he's going to be doing this guys um he does feel like he'll be a nintendo lifer and pretty much be there until the day he passes away but um it, it's crazy to think that he's 69 years old i mean by the time you know i'm in my mid 40s uh he might you know who knows knock on wood that he maintains good health and is still around so um i i'm very very thankful for everything he's brought to us and Hey, you know what? Happy freaking birthday, Shigeru Miyamoto. The one, the only legend. So next up, we have a story about Shin Megami Tensei 5 sales in the UK. And the UK is obviously one of the major markets for Switch. And this comes from Christopher Dring on Twitter. He says, okay, people have given me some good suggestions in which to compare Shin Megami Tensei 5 to. Because obviously people want some context for how well Shin Megami Tensei 5 is going. Because everyone kept saying it's doing really well. But what's the context of doing well? Well, while we don't have exact numbers, we do have comparisons of sales to other popular games uh, that could give you an idea of how well it's doing. So Shin Megami Tensei 5 did 60% more sales at launch in the UK than Bravely Default 2, 43% more than Monster Hunter Stories 2, and 23% more than Tales of Arise. And these are just all UK boxed sales figures. So yeah, that's pretty damn good for Shin Megami Tensei 5. Now we'll get final sales numbers here, obviously, uh, in a few months when Nintendo gives reports because they did publish the game in many territories. Uh, but yeah, I would say Shin Megami Tensei 5 is off to a stellar start. It's reviewing extremely well. 
And who knows, maybe it ended up making the cut for some of the Game Award nominations that happened today, which I can tell you we won't be talking about the nominations today. Maybe we'll talk about them a little bit tonight while we're live streaming, but uh, really look forward to the podcast episode we have going on tomorrow, which by the way, go ahead and subscribe to that podcast. Um, yeah, we're, we're, we're having a lot of fun here at Nintendo Prime. All right, next up, we have to talk about some Black Friday deals. Now, I mentioned in the past that I would be making individual videos on Black Friday sales. Uh, the problem, of course, is I'm not so sure that a lot of the uh, data I have right now is worth talking about. Um, I have ads for Target, for Walmart, for Best Buy. Um, we, we're still waiting on GameStop's big official 2021 ad. Um, so maybe we'll do a video on GameStop's ad if it ends up being really, really special, which I, GameStop has the benefit of also having used games. So it very well could be a really, really great uh, ad. But the thing is, after sifting through Best Buy, Target, and Walmart, um, it's come to my attention that really, if you're looking to get really great Switch deals, you're gonna want to go to Walmart. The I, I, it feels weird talking about Target or Best Buy's ad when, honestly, they're not really offering anything great for Switch. Um, but Walmart, on the other hand, is. I mean, yeah, you can still go to those retailers and get the $40 games that Nintendo announced. But I mean, you already guys already know that. So we don't. I don't feel like I need to make individual videos um, unless there's something outstanding. So instead, we'll just mention Walmart's ad here. And if there's anything else in the future, you know, if the, it, there is like if GameStop is insane, maybe we do a video on that. Here are the deals uh, that I want to mention from Walmart's Black Friday ads. There might be more than this, but this was just in their Black Friday ad. So one of the biggest things that you can get there that, as far as I'm aware, is not available anywhere else based on the ads I have seen is you can get Monster Hunter Rise for $25 starting next week. <sighs> Monster Hunter Rise, I got a feeling that's going to be selling out at Walmart this holiday. Um, that is an insane price because it still sells for $59.99. That is more than 50% off. That is an insane sale on a game that just came out this year and has sold basically 8 million copies worldwide. It, I just, I am flabbergasted at that sales price for a game that is that popular. So bam, that's already an amazing deal at Walmart. What else does Walmart have? Well, Mario plus Rabbids, Rabbids Kingdom Battle uh, will be on sale for $14. So if you're interested in what you saw from Sparks at Hope, but never played the original, now's the time to get into it. The DLC is also pretty well done for that game. Uh, Sonic Colors is available for $20. Uh, and here's what, some really cool things. Cause yes, they'll have all the $40 deals that Nintendo mentioned, but some of the games are actually gonna be cheaper at Walmart. So Breath of the Wild, Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe, Kirby Star Allies, Splatoon 2, and Paper Mario the Origami Game. That's five big Switch exclusives. Well, sort of, because U Deluxe is a port, but whatever. Five big Switch exclusives for $35. That is one hell of a deal. Hell, I don't think I have physical copies of some of those games. In fact, I never bought Paper Mario the Origami King, so maybe I end up heading out and picking up a physical copy that day. Damn. Um, also, they'll have Mario Maker 2 and Link's Awakening for 40 bucks, and obviously anything else that Nintendo has announced at that price point. So, um, yeah, by the way, if you're like, oh, where's the Switch bundles? Again, it's just the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe bundle with three months of online for $2.99. Like, this is the same bundle they've been doing for years, so I don't really feel like I need to mention that that bundle's available everywhere. Nintendo said that bundle, so, I mean, you can get it wherever if you're trying to get a little bit of a deal because you do get a game and online for the same price as a normal switch so it is a deal it's just it's the same deal that we need to keep talking about it so yeah that's kind of the only black friday ad so far i've seen even worth talking about i've been very very disappointed um for the system that's the lead platform in the world and for how long it's been out that we're not seeing better switch game deals uh but walmart has some killer ones that monster hunter rise deal man god you guys got to jump all over if i didn't already own a digital copy i would be all over it so Damn. All right, our last story, and maybe the biggest story, there's a certain game coming out January in 2022 that has a lot of people, if not hyped, very cautiously optimistic. That being Pokemon Legends Arceus. And everyone's been wondering, when are we really gonna get a good look at this game? We've seen like two different trailers. Okay, cool, the last trailer really drove the hype with the swimming and the riding on the Pokemon, and like, okay, we're getting there we're getting sold but but we still need to see some raw gameplay we still need to have more information about this game when can we see more 
Well, uh, the Pokemon Company has announced that they are doing their Pokemon Battle Festival Asia 2021, which they do every year. And this year they are actually um, dumping Pokemon Sword and Shield out of the equation and replacing it with Brilliant Diamond and Shiny Pearl. I found that to be quite interesting. Um, so that's a thing that's happening. Uh, and by the way, this, this festival happens uh, at the end of this month. And they will be showing off... They announced on stream during this event they will be showing off gameplay of Pokemon Legends Arceus. So, to note, typically before they do a gameplay stream like that, they usually have an event. Now, we don't know that there will be a Pokemon event before this, but like a direct, a trailer drop, a something usually happens before they do gameplay like this. But it's also possible that we're in a different time right now with the pandemic and everything. So they might just go straight into just dropping some gameplay. So we're about to get some new details on Pokemon Legends Arceus in the next couple of weeks. And that is super, super exciting. Um, and I honestly think once Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl are out, from that moment through the end of December and into January, it's going to be nonstop hype session for that game. Just like the Game Awards should be a non-sub hype session as well. You know how many companies probably have massive games to show off for 2022, including Nintendo? Can we get some Breath of the Wild 2 name drops? Can we please? Give me that title, Nintendo! <laughs> Seriously, I really want that title. Um, anyways, that's going to uh, do it for today's episode. Um, I hope you guys really enjoyed, really learned something. A bit shorter episode, less stories, but you know what? We made it all work for you. Um, by the way, I know there was no big timestamp thing at the beginning. I don't have a graphic that really works with just five stories. I'm going to have to figure out something for that. Otherwise, uh, it's whatever. You still got the news. You still got the timestamps down below. You still got to figure out what's open. Hope I see you guys all at tonight's stream. If not there, if you can't make it, hopefully you make it to our Sunday um, Prime Giving stream. We have this and so much more to give away as we're trying to give back as much to our community for the holidays as we can. Uh, this pile will probably be growing and growing and growing. So thank you guys, and I'll catch you in the next video.